Hey everyone, there has really been a lot of interest in how I hacked this uh, Marie Claude into a zippered um, zippered base layer. I love this, but um, and I actually love that this is kind of a more narrow cowl and, it, and it's kind of scrunchy. It keeps my neck warm, but I also wear a lot of base layers for sports and this, this collar is just a little much for that and plus I like the zipper for ventilation. So here is the one I just finished, and it's the same Marie Claude, but it's got a, a shorter collar and a, a zipper put in it. And this wasn't any big fancy hack. All I did was take this Marie Claude. Let me show you what I did with this Marie Claude collar. I did not draft a new collar. I didn't change the neckline. So let's, let's take a look at this collar. It's, it's really interesting what they did here. I've never seen anything like this. Here's your collar pattern. This is the edge that goes on the fold when you cut it. So you end up with this big kind of lozenge, lozenge shaped piece. And then it also has this um, back part, which goes here on the bottom. And then, you know, the whole thing folds over like, like so. And you have this nice scrunchy collar. This is your center front here, of course, but you know, you cut your one layer like this and then you folded it over. So that's what we did to start with it. But um, for this hack, all I did was I took the height out of the pattern. I put the yellow shirt on and I'm like, oh, I need X amount out. And then I just folded it over like that to take the extra out. So now my collar is, is like a, oh, about three inches shorter than it was before. So I'm still gonna cut this on the fold and I'm still gonna end up with this big lozenge shaped piece when I'm done, but it's just, it's not as wide. And that's all I did to change the collar. And the same thing with the back piece, I just took the extra out and uh, made sure you know it was centered and then laid that on the fold to cut it and so that that's the only thing i did to change this pattern i didn't redraft anything now um with this base layer i like my um, base layers nicely finished so i didn't change the neckline at all I'll, um, what i did do to the collar is i marked the center front and i slashed it after i put the collar pieces together and I treated um, the folded on the inside part as a facing. And then here I've got a nice um, burrito finish. So it's finished all the way through. And I just really like to do that. I have this technique in my blog, Badass Sewing for Dirt Bags. I will link to it. Um, so you can do this on your base layers too. But this, this wasn't any real challenging draft a new collar, draw a new neckline kind of project. I just shortened the collar and uh, I thought I'd show you how I did it.